Back in 2008, GTA 4 was released with three co-op modes, Deal Breaker, Hangman's Noose, and Bomb the Base 2. These three modes were able to be played with two to four players, and while the concept of them was pretty simple, they were loved by the community, and if we're gonna be honest, most people played Hangman's Noose the most, because it was the quickest way to rank up and get to that illustrious rank 10. Now fast forward a couple of years later, and Florida was nice enough to actually make a GTA Online version of these three missions. Starting off with Deal Breaker. Deal Breaker is going to be a mission that is not entirely true to its original counterpart. The main reason why is primarily technical difficulties. I'll spare you all the boring details. But the mission itself, in many aspects, is still true to its original counterpart. You start with your Cognacetti, make your way to a location, and then after you killed all the enemies at the location, you have to destroy a boat and two different vehicles. This thing has no brakes. Where stuff becomes more interesting is with Hangman's Noose and Bond the Base 2. Primarily because of the accuracy AI levels and that sort of technical know-how in GTA Online. Especially because I played these missions solo, it became quite difficult. How difficult? Well, enjoy. I have to say, Floor, but the, the, amount of, the amount of enemies there as well Oh, can I, do I have an AK? I do, okay, cool. Okay, I don't think I have an AK. Man, this is a, this is a... Holy... High look, alright? They didn't, they didn't hit this hard. Jesus Christ! <laughs> exactly! My original plan was to play Hangman's Noose like I would in GTA 4. Just run around an SMG and an AK and just blast everything that moves. Sadly, that doesn't work in GTA Online and I got melted very quickly. So we had to go back to the drawing board and start rethinking our strategies. There was also way more cover in the original. Oh my fucking god! Ah! I think uh, I think we might have to uh, might have to go with Plan B uh, with, with this one, uh, chat. Eventually, through some slow and steady progress, uh, and especially slow progress, I managed to get close to the plane and was in within final reach of completing the mission. I have got no more body armor left. I am not walking up there. That's gonna that's gonna get me killed a hundred percent. Oh no. this thing real quick okay i knew i wasn't 100 sure it was gonna hit or miss that guy are there more spawning in it's already there yeah but i mean the blue blips can also shoot me so i think i'm good Alright, we're getting there. Wait, but why did we start there though? Because like this is the plane, like you start... You start the mission at the Petrovich plane. Find a way to bring it to Petrovich, right. Did you also like thought thought about bringing like a annihilator here as well? Oh shit! Of course, it's gonna be a fucking. Sadly, I had made a crucial mistake. I had blown up the news fan that, by design, was kind of meant for me to use to get Petrofi to safety. Oh my... Oh gee. No! 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 <laughs> 
After this attempt, obviously it was time to go back to the drawing board. The Heavy Sniper Mark II was going to be used with regular rounds rather than explosive rounds. And obviously at the very end, I would have a noose fan left over that wasn't blown up. Those two things definitely made the massive difference here. But if you're going to play this one yourself, uh, definitely invite a buddy or two because solo, this is pretty difficult, which can also just mean it's a very cool, nice little challenge. So definitely go and give it a try if you're looking for something different. Next up, we have a bomb the base at two. And if you thought that the hangman's noose one was difficult, wait until you see this one. As a solo player, this was definitely a pretty difficult challenge, but one I really enjoyed taking on. In my first attempt, I foolishly thought I could attempt this like in GTA 4, where I would just start shooting the drivers and the van itself, and eventually I'll be all right. Uh, that wasn't the case. I got absolutely mowed down and I died. Eventually, I managed to snag the truck and then make my way towards the helicopter to then make my way towards the boat. I was going to originally try to land it in the middle of the boat, but having learned from my past experience is in Hangman's News, I knew that if I was going to attempt that, I would be killed right away. So I landed the helicopter a little bit further away from the boat to then be able to go on foot and slowly but surely make my way to the boat. At least that's what I thought was going to be the appropriate course of action. Oh, Jesus. And you guessed it, it was time to go back to the drawing board. For those who have played single player, are probably going to see a few things here that are rather similar. Uh, because obviously you don't want to get close to the enemies because they will just lock onto you and melt you within seconds. Especially with as many enemies that they were on that boat, I just basically had to use uh, both a advantage in height as well as distance. So a sniper rifle with a thermoscope was going to be the way to go. Continuing to pick them off one by one until I couldn't hit anymore and then it was time to make my way to the boat and start picking everyone off by just simply using a normal gun. The objective was very simple. There's a total of three different spots that I have to plant a bomb in. On the far right, the middle, and the far left on top of the bridge. That is the boat bridge, not the actual bridge. This unfortunately was made significantly more difficult with the fact that as soon as I was done with planting the first bomb, two helicopters would continuously spawn in. And even if I were to destroy them, they would keep coming back over and over and over again. This proved to be an extreme problem and even in my best attempt I was getting melted by these things and it was just kind of just on the verge of being impossible. So I ended up basically telling Floorball, I don't think this is really very solo friendly, those helicopters are definitely the issue, primarily because they keep respawning. So after a few tweaks, Floorball ended up changing it to a more solo friendly version which is what the footage is I'm gonna show you now. The helicopters are effectively removed from this version and it still is a good challenge. Definitely not something to still run and gun through because you will still get melted. There are still a large amount of enemies that will still melt you relatively quickly if you are not careful. The challenge is still very much there and strategies are still required. And that is all there is to it. If you want to play these three co-op missions for yourself, make sure to check the link in the description and the comment down below so you can check them out for yourself i definitely encourage you to check it out whether you are a gta 4 veteran or you're just looking for three very cool missions to play definitely go and give them a play currently on pc only with no plans on making them work on the console anytime soon so for those people on console uh, you are unfortunately out of luck Thank you very much for watching though. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, become a member like Chloe, KFC Chicken, Not Fatigue, and GTA Plus. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Perfect, I've done it. I love the ex I'm loving the explosion sounds.